Hello and welcome to Fluidy VFX. Today we are going to make uh, multicolored particles based on Blender particle system. Something like this you can see in the preview. So let's get started. I'm using Blender 2.79 and you can create any object which can act as particle emitter i have selected this uh, cube i'm just going to scale it down in z and x direction then I'll go to the particle tab and I will create a new particle system so if I play here I can see the particles are generated and they're falling down because the gravity is in minus in negative you know, like the real world gravity so it's going down we can fix that we want particles to go upward so we can um, use positive gravity so if i go to scene tab i can fix the gravity i think i can use positive uh, 2 2.5 or 2 something like that And if I go back and play my animation, I can see particles are moving in upward direction. That's what I want. And then I can use a force, uh, like a turbulence force to create random, randomly generated animation. To create turbulence force, I can press I can press shift A and force field so I can uh, use turbulence and this is the turbulence field or turbulence force I can double click in the uh, outliner and I can call it turbulence If I uh, play it, the particles are generated in a different way with bit of a turbulence. I can select the turbulence and I can go to the settings in the physics tab and I can use a value around, around 15. <clears throat> If I play this again, I can see the the animation is uh, affected by the turbulence field. I can use another force field, uh, which is drag force. So I can press Shift A to create another drag force drag force and this is the drag force and I can uh, if I select this I can double click and I call I can rename it to drag force if I play my animation again so I have very nice animated particles we can see that particles are quickly dying within 50 frames so I can 
select my cube I can go to particle particles tab and I can see that lifetime is 50 but our animation is actually 250 frames so I don't want particles to die before 250 frames so I can change the lifetime to 250 I can do other sort of things like I can uh, change the lifetime to random values and I can select particles to be generated from the vertices but I think I can leave it on the faces now we need to create uh, an object which can act as particles so I am going to go to create and I will select uh, icosphere I can just bring it on the side I can scale it down by pressing S and this icosphere will act as particle for the particle systems and I can give it a material from the material tab new material and I want to use emission material so my particles can glow in the dark and I will go to the world settings and I want to make the background color as totally totally black and then I will select my cube again I go back to particle tabs tab 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 uh, within the render area I will click on the object that particles should be rendered as icosphere these are very small so maybe I can increase the size so if I go to rendered view now I can see that uh, in the dark my particles are glowing and the particles are orange colored I can turn off the lamp and I can create a plane so at least I can have some reflection or um, some base where I can see the light is hitting and reflecting we need to increase number of particles so I select the cube again go to the particle tab and I increase the number of particles to 2000 I can play my animation again I can see there are more particles my computer is a bit powerful computer with 32 GB RAM so I think I can increase the number of particles to 5000 So now we have a particle system set up with the render settings, uh, rendered material. So now what we have to do is we can duplicate this cube uh, around six more times. So I will select the cube, copy with command C and command V for paste. So you can see I have created another cube. So I will copy paste six more times so I have total of seven cubes
six and seven. The good thing is when you are duplicating the cubes because icospheres are connected with the cube so when you copy and paste the cubes you also get uh, different icospheres seven icospheres i can just put them aside so i cannot see them then you can select uh, different icospheres and you can change the material color so first one is orange second one i can go and i can pick a green color third one i can select blue so i can move around the color wheel So I'm not selecting color exactly with any exact values but you can select whatever you like and now if I play my animation there are number of particles generated and if I change the view to rendered view you can see uh, the, uh, the different colored particles are generated and they look beautiful and you can increase the number of particles for each sis each particle system like maybe 10,000 so the more the particles the more processing power your computer requires I can also go and bake the particles so I don't have to bake them again and again free all bakes and I can bake all the dynamics and I can see here that the particles are being baked and cached on the hard disks so it's easy to play them You can try different values and different objects as uh, em emitters and you can get a lot of different effects. I render it for you guys so you can see how it looks like. 